Hi, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to write a blog on our fashion passion and give you some basic tips on how to do it correctly. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is click your profile image in your dashboard, select profile, then select blog, and click add a new post. This is your blog editor. You put your title up here. You tell your story, your blog down here. And over here you can add a featured image, which we'll be doing. And also you can pick what categories your blog may cover. Keep in mind that your blog has to cover a fashion or beauty related subject, or at least relate in some way to fashion or beauty. So let's get started. Okay, so I've pre-written my blog. And my blog is how to write a blog. Agreed, it's not fashion or beauty related, but it is necessary for this website. And my title is how to write a blog in 2022. So now let's do our first paragraph. And we used the three part essay guidelines to write almost exclusively, and, and I'll tell you why, and you're gonna see as this goes. It just makes it very simple. You'll notice red lines here. I'm using a, a um, Chrome browser, and there are plugins you can get for a Chrome browser, they're all free, and this one's called Grammarly, and Grammarly helps me correct my grammar, my spelling, and like many people in the world, I don't have great grammar, and Grammarly helps. And you'll notice my first paragraph is writing a blog can be difficult, especially for beginners. But by using the three part essay rules, most of us learn in school, it really does not need to be hard. In this post, I'll cover how to write a good blog that people can read and enjoy without requiring a tremendous amount of talent or skills. So what I've done in this is I've made a statement. And my statement is um, that it really does not need to be hard to write a blog. That's my statement. And I've told people what I'm going to tell them. And I'm going to tell them how to write a good blog. And I've also given them a little background. Writing a blog can be difficult, especially for beginners. So I've given them my introduction and I've made my statement. Now what we're going to do is the next thing. And the next thing is to put in, I put headers between every paragraph. And I'll tell you why. Really, for SEO purposes, it's a good way to go. Okay, so we will select this. And because this is a tutorial, I'm going to be asking questions. What is the three-part essay format? Most people have forgotten, myself included, until they start writing. And here I tell you what the three-part essay is. Very simple. Okay, keep in mind that an essay is written to convince or inform before you start writing. But the basic components of a three-part essay are as follows. Part one, introduction, make a statement. You'll notice I gave a brief background, I made a statement, and I told them what I'm gonna tell them. Part two, back up your statement with examples. Why is it easy to write blogs? Should be three paragraphs or more, preferably more. Part three, Summarize this statement and draw a conclusion, and you'll see how I did that at the end. Now this might be a good place to put in a photo. To do that, you'll click the little plus sign, click the little photo, and select your photos. And I have this one here to plug in. Now my photos my photos I get from Pexels. When you put in a photo, you must credit the photographer. You notice it says free download here, and I have to thank Min Ann from Pexels. So you can actually highlight that and do the following. Go back to your blog, below your blog. Oh, here, you're gonna put photo,
credit min n. And you can use it as a nice min m i n a n. You can also use it as a nice back link by doing the following. Highlight it, select link. Now we know this person's page is pexels, so we can copy that. And we've now created our backlink. Paste. Hit enter. There's a little check mark over here. And we're done. So now we can continue writing our blog. Another header. Where to begin? Okay, you'll notice that I have headers here. What is a three part essay? When I highlight that, all I have to do is select H2 or H3. H2 is a huge header, but I like to have headers in there. It tells Google what we're writing about. Okay, so we'll select header, move on to the next paragraph. And this header is where to begin. Okay, the best place to start is by deciding what subject you want to write about. Make sure people want to read about that subject. This is quite easy if you have a computer with a Google Chrome browser. Simply add a free extension called Keyword Surfer and enter phrases you think people would be interested in. Instantly, the Keyword Surfer will tell you how many people search your subject matter every month and select the subject that fits. To give you an idea, this blog is about how to write a blog. And you notice over here, 8,100 is the number of people that search for that particular phrase every single month. So there's a pretty good size audience of people looking for how to write a blog. So my blog has a very good chance of getting found. Let's go on to the next paragraph. How important is a title? And the answer is very important. It's like a headline in a newspaper. Most of you probably haven't seen a newspaper, but <laughs> it's like the headline on the news program. And a, a title is very important, and I'm going to address that in this next paragraph. I put a tight, I put a, a link in there, and that's you guys will be able to use that link to get the next thing we're going to talk about. The title is also known as, aka, your headline. It's extremely important as it's the first thing people will see before they decide to read your blog. When you're skimming through the internet, you pick up a, a, a title, a headline that, that's interesting to you. If it's not interesting, you scroll past and go on to the next thing. It is also important to have the keyword in your title along with the number and a power word. Mm -hmm. We have to explain what that is. You'll notice my title has 2022. It also has the word how to, which by the way is a power word. But there is a link in here that we will also link you to, um, to have a keyword and title along with the number of power word. For instance, you will notice I titled the, the blog how to, that is a power word, and used the number 2022 in my title. And my keyword is how to write a blog. The keyword has over 8,000 searches as you've already seen. So make sure your title gets attention and people care about the subject matter. We've covered all that. Let's go on to the next, next paragraph. Okay, my next one is going to be, so now I have a title, tell me how to write a blog. All right. This is important, now this is a header. And as you recall, how to write a blog is our keyword. Okay, so we have our keyword in our header, and Google really, really likes that. Boom. Now let's do our next paragraph. And let's read this out. So now you have a good title in place, you will write your first paragraph. You may recall your teachers told you your first paragraph is the introduction and it makes a statement. 
as you can tell, I'm, I've got an introduction and I've made a statement. Pretty simple stuff. Basically, give the reader some background on the subject, make your statement, and tell them what you're going to tell them. And you'll notice that I told them, in this post, I will cover how to write a good blog that people can read and enjoy without requiring a tremendous amount of talent or skill from the writer. Okay, so I've told them what I'm going to tell them. And I've also misspelled background. Uh, and I included my keyword, how to write a blog. And finally, I told the reader what I'm going to tell them. Let's go to the next section. Okay, once again, before my next paragraph, I have a header. I'll make it an H3 again. Now that you've made your statement, you need to back up your statement with examples. Again, I made a grammatical error. For instance, comma, if your statement is that writing a blog does not need to be hard, you will need examples as to why. You should have three or more examples, and you'll notice in this blog I already have four examples. And I can go on and on all day. That is why a three-part essay format works so well. I can recall tests in college where I had no idea the answer, but because I used a solid three-part essay writing strategy, I often received partial credit and essay questions. I'll be honest with you, that happened many times. I had no idea what I was writing about, yet I got credit. Now, you'll you got to understand that writing, writing when you're writing for, for people, you want to have at least five to six hundred words. But more importantly, when you're writing for Google, which is even more important, they really prefer six hundred words. So my next, my next example, also I'm using as a filler. How do I get many examples or back up my statement? It's important that you can continue to write using many examples and reaching that six hundred words without really killing yourself. Again, this is a header. Make it an H3. When you make any statement, your examples can go on and on. Most blogs should be 500 words or more, so you need to create content even when you feel like you've run out of things to say. This entire paragraph is a clear example of that, but it does create the needed content to get this blog to require 500 word format. Actually, it gets it to 600 words, which is the optimal format that most search engines attach relevancy to. Again, I made a grammatical error. Without getting too redundant. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, the next section is how do I finish up my blog? This is where you're going to, once again, make this an H3. The conclusion of your blog is the easy part. Summarize the statement and draw a conclusion. So you can see that writing a blog does not need to be difficult. I just summarized this statement. With a little practice, you can write a good quality blog that people will want to read without too much effort. Just follow these steps and you're, you should be producing good, good blogs reasonably fast. And this is so very true. If you want to add more photos, you can click on the plus sign. You can add them throughout the blog. And the last thing we need to do is we need to add a featured image. Not real too, real difficult. And this one doesn't really, we're gonna make this an uncategorized thing. And now let's add our featured image. You click in the set featured image box. It's going to open up, you know, your, your folders for your computer. And you'll see now that I have a featured image. This is a big feature image, so it should take a minute or so to come through. Okay, so now you have your featured image. I'm going to publish this blog so you can read it if you'd like on Kristen's page. And I'm also going to create a video that you'll be able to watch on YouTube. Good luck. If you have any questions, just let us know. Happy blogging.